Nearly 50 years after NASA's last manned mission to the moon, the space agency is gearing up for Monday's historic rocket launch, kicking off its new moon mission, Artemis 1. CBS's Mark Strassman has more tonight from the Kennedy Space Center near Cape Canaveral, Florida. It's a great sight seeing that Artemis vehicle on the pad. By the hour, Monday morning grows bigger, like a waxing moon for Charlie Blackwell Thompson and everyone at NASA. Can you give me an update on the weather, please? Artemis One's launch director will give the go for liftoff. We have done a tremendous amount of testing here on the ground, and now it's time for the flight test. After launch, Artemis will rocket its crewless Orion capsule within 60 miles of the moon's surface. It will loop into a distant lunar orbit, reaching roughly 40,000 miles beyond the moon, the deepest space ever for a capsule that could carry humans. 42 days after liftoff, Orion will splash down in the Pacific Ocean. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Think of Artemis as Apollo on steroids. Artemis II, scheduled for 2024, will be a crude flyby of the moon. Artemis III, sometime later this decade, the first moon landing in more than a half century. We want to ultimately uh, end up on Mars. We want to keep uh, venturing deeper into space. And the moon is a perfect stepping stone. But Artemis costs sky high. Total dollars projected through fiscal year 2025, 93 billion. Monday's launch alone, more than $4.1 billion for a rocket NASA will use once. A lot of money. Paul Martin is NASA's inspector general, its in-house watchdog. That concerns us enough that in our reports we said we see that as unsustainable for the Artemis program. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson told us that over time those costs will come down for a space agency that has promised the moon and starting Monday hopes to deliver. Major? Mark Strassman, thank you.